Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sable here and welcome back to another video. So first up I'm going to do some percentage hull damage against Firestorm. And I don't have any passive stats here, only the Sword of Salvation on Robin, on Bevan Flaps and the uh, Dora Snow Globe on Deathstroke. So he should have no problem killing my Deathstroke, right? We'll, we'll see about that. Let's activate passive first for Bevan Flaps. And that's a big combo interruption. This should be enough combo to get extra crisis bars. And there we go. Just making sure there's nothing left. There was indeed nothing left. It's pretty deceiving that it's exactly usually enough to transform once, but like exactly to the point where you don't even see a swipe or you don't deal percentage shell damage and you're always like, now where's there something left though? And most of the times it, it's not. By the way, I, I don't I, I don't know why I have Vixen there. Most likely she was there from a previous fight and I didn't bother to take her out of the team. Well I guess we don't have Vixen available for the next few fights. RIP. But there's absolutely no reason for her to be there. First going in there, trying to push him to the corner. Almost there. Let's die again. And power generate a bit in the meantime. Oh. No, he's, he pushed me back into it. That one time in all Injustice Mobile where Firestorm's uh, third special is good. He got me. I mean, there was some decent amount of percentage health on base Deathstroke left because I took a bit of a long time with Spenant Labs, but yeah. And we got 30 seconds for no more damage. There we go, boys. Let's play this. Let's play this right. We got the negative effect. We're getting one buff from Vixen. We're gonna do damage now. Even dot damage, we got two buffs from Vixen now. Now we're really dealing damage. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, he really got me with that second clone. No, it's fine. It's okay. I'm gonna try to end this man with League of Arky. Uh, I do have armor up here, so I'm hardly hit, so him being fortified should not matter that much. The only place where we don't do armor pierce is going to be at the swipe attack. And yes, armor pierce matters because while you do dots, the dot you do is dependent on the damage you do on the normal hits. I have level 6 Puppet of Zatanna on Flash, or level 7, uh, I don't really remember exactly, and uh, EPI is gonna have a sort of salvation, because the other option was putting a level 1 Puppet of Zatanna, and I honestly think we're getting a bit more from just having better power generation here. Special 2. That was not in range for resets, so I'm, I'm fine. Okay, that's that's in range for a power refund. And we got it. With Flash, we're going to always be in range for power refunds. That's why I put him here. And for additional damage, obviously. So the power refunds are not dropping. Okay, we can steal a bit more with CPI. No power refund here.
No power refund again. Come on, Harley, you can do it. There we go. Do it again. Nope. Last chance. Last chance before somebody has to get hurt by their super move. Okay. She should she just didn't feel like it. It's okay, flash tank that no problem. Special two in there. Another one. And finally power refunds. I mean, it's just level 5 crowns, so not the highest chance, but still decently high. To the point where this is heavily unlucky. There we go, that's Firestorm down. Yeah, I'm quite far from doing 2 billion with League of Anarchy in this all right. Since I went out of my way to build this character for the passive that ended up being very underwhelming, we might as well get the 2 billion damage with Beta Club, Raven, and um, Zatanna. Any character can do this with this combination over here. But I'm not sure if I can do it here because. Um, we have very low passive stats. Last time I did this was, I think, in uh, the last contract, and there I had two level 10 god killers. Or something very close to that. So here it might be a bit tricky, so I might want to get all the percentage health damage from Zatan as well. Okay, we got burning from Papa, that's great. Another free special 2. Free special 1. Okay, we triggered infinite power. That's great. Because I'll want to also make use of that to get the super move off with um, Black Canary. Any percentage on left? Nope. Okay, that's also done. Again, I'm not sure if this is possible with those level of artifacts, but if it is, we're definitely going to do it because we got a perfect start pretty much. That's three of them. I really don't appreciate... Oh, I lost the infinite power there. I really don't appreciate the fact that I can't see the raven stacks, but I think that's all of them. Okay, 31 mil. This is this is definitely, de definitely done. Better. That was not a crit. This is not not good. Oh, I think we lost the Raven stacks. Oh boy, this is not good. Yeah, that's. Why do I have my screen occupied by effects that are never gonna expire? Well, the 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 only effect that matters, the one that's gonna expire, does not have enough room to be on the screen. There we go, thirty-one mil again. We're on the right track here. Let's go. Yeah, I guess you don't need that many passive stats even. But yeah, let's move on. Okay, let's see how much we can get out of this. I have Mr. Freeze here with Beta Club and Brainiac. And the selling point of this is that I can use Puppet here for passive stats, so Brainiac is gonna stack his leader very quickly. We also have great damage from uh, Wonderman. And I also equip Sword of Salvation on her for some early power generation. Because in order to trigger infinite power, we need to have some power. And a special 2 there. Putting a lot of negative effects on this man. And Brainiac should be able to... Easily enough trigger infinite power from Puppet. Come on, Brainy boy. Come on. 
And he's gonna lose it as soon as most of the things here expire. Okay, this is not the great start. This is really not the great start. Ah, and this man's being so annoying. Okay, screw it. I'm giving up on trying to get infinite power. Okay, four negative effects put using beta club here will put us at max. Those are gonna be some fast stacks, though it took longer than usual. Like this is some very bad timing on the Brainiac stacking. Super move. I'm gonna lose all the power as soon as infinite power expires, which sucks. Unless it doesn't expire. Come on, boy. Freeze. There we go. And yeah, I did see your move at, um, at max stacks. Oh, that was a 16 mil. That's not too bad. That's most definitely not too bad. I don't have power for a special two. Come on. Yeah, it just took me a very long time to get Brainiac going. And I guess that was my fault. That's a good value as well. Oh, come on. Can you get frozen? Like, you've been sitting there for ages, my dudes. Bad value. He's doing again. I'm pressing the tank that's binded on the emulator to, to be a jump up attack. Literally, the normal attack is on the other side of the screen, but he, he decides to do a normal hit instead of a jump. I don't know why he does that. He did that in the last video as well. What's up, Mr. Freeze? What's wrong with you? Did a few useless hits on him, sadly. And I lost infinite power because I randomly got it for some reason. Barely got him frozen again before the freezing would have expired. And yeah, this didn't go too badly. Could have definitely gone better. And I could have played it better with Brainiac. But Bro, Puppet is such an unreliable artifact. And most likely I did it badly. But yeah, that's gonna be about it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. The like that if you liked it. The like if you liked it. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.